Welcome back to the sports show on that damn YouTube hockey getting going now. Red Wings had their opener last night, winning three nothing. I thought we'd go back, check out some old school Red Wings from the championship years. We're going back to '97. Check out my guy Vladimir Konstantinov laying people the hell out during the Stanley Cup championship run. So this is Vladimir Konstantinov smoking fools from the '97 NHL playoff run. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Let's go. Konstantinov. And Konstantinov scores Paul immediately. Paul knocked Woo. down by Konstantinov. Big hit. Played by Sergio Momesso to Joe Murphy. He's stopped by Eiserman and Konstantinov. Hang on. Hit by Eiserman. He's with it. Cross. By Konstantinov. Five on four. Salani hammered by Konstantinov. Time to get Fellows in front. He had Korea. And Petitov intercepted the pass. And there's Konstantinov who came across to hit Reichel from the other side of the ice. Oh, it's Curry now. Big hit in the neutral zone. Konstantinov for Curry now. Konstantinov is just burying people. And now he's burying the people inside the end. So the Ducks couldn't be onside. He deserved that shit. Man, did he lay Claude Lemieux out. And that's Gusarov. Gusarov offside. Corbet trying to hold the line. <laughs> couldn't. Then after the whistle took a hit, Adam Foote didn't like it. Moved in on Constantino. He made the stop. Who's the clip? You know, here in Detroit, I think we've had probably the two most hated players in the history of their sports. I'm talking about Bill Lambeer and Konstantinov. Everywhere these guys went, they were public enemy number one, Lambeer and Konstantinov. He is absolutely smoking people. He's covered by Vernon, and the whistle blows. As a couple of the Avalanche kept going. After the puck, after the whistle, made a fight off John Clem, who did a good job defensively. Now scored for Konstantinov. Vladimir Konstantinov has no shots in this game, but this would qualify as a major league shot. Big time hit here. Ola Campbell said it about Eric Lindros in the East. Now we've had Mark Proper and label Vladimir Konstantinov for the West. He says he could get a penalty on every shift. And he probably could. I mean, Vladimir Konstantinov plays on the edge. That's the way he plays defense. That is why he's one of the finalists for the Norris Trophy, though. Offensively, no. Ooh. He's not going to end the rush, line it up and go end to end on a line rush and make an offensive chance happen, although he does move the puck fairly well. But you're seeing by this just how physical, how tenacious he is, and how much leg strength that he delivers. He's only 195 pounds on a 6'1 frame, but he is always, always cool, in the man. face of the opposition. Bam. If you hit Peter Forsberg like this, you are doing something, and something real good defensively. He has been a star in this series. If the Avalanche can get something here on this power play, look at stepping up here was Constantino by Oakland. And second hands it off now. Well, we talked about Konstantinov keeping his weight up in the first period. He is such an underrated player with the smarts. I mean, he, we know he's aggressive, we know he's physical, but he really has to read the play well. You know, when you charge up in the neutral zone and take people, it's it's more than just being quick and being strong. And he gets so keyed up to play games. You know, the players in Detroit's roster joke before games that Vladimir Konstantinov doesn't even know who they're playing because he plays like a machine, like a robot. Intense, same way against every team, same way against every player. It doesn't even matter to him what color the uniforms are. So they joke saying, you know, in a lot of nights, he doesn't even know who we're playing. So that's right there in the circle. Ricci reached in, dug it out. They sent Dugmarsh up in front. Look at Konstantinov's strength. He's looking down with one arm. Nino with a little toss ahead now to Lacroix. Lacroix up the wing and Drews is in. Drews with a shot and a save by Vernon and he covers. Uh, the biggest save of the game for Vernon. The left wing lock here was broken by the Flyers. Bob Rouse who broke up a two-on-one that the Flyers had when the score was closer in the second. Oh, and hit by baby. Konstantinov on Glad. Oh baby, did he hit him. Glad is shaking a little bit. He's a little woozy. Konstantinov now is throwing the hit of the game. Center and catch for the one play. Knocked down by Petit 
inside from Cook. Nikos got it around. Pulled out the end of the break through the middle. Constantine on the team. Put a hit on the high wall. Old is the forward. And his first one out game. Nani Niemann does go back to get it. This might be it. Niemann picked up four assists last three games. Big hit. Constantino. Whoa. That brings the jump to its feet. Coming out with a lead pass. Substituted for next ball's gone the distance for it. Cook checked away into the corner by Konstantinov, but he puts another hard hit on. Lindros came in, a little shot on Konstantinov, but not much, but enough for a cross check. The Gladiator. Vladimir Konstantinov. And that is the face of one of the true gladiators in this sport of hockey. Konstantinov took flat to the board. I guess this is when the glass broke, is when Klatt went up high. I mean, if you get up on the glass, you take away a lot of the hit. If you stay down low, the boards don't give nearly as much. So naturally, when a guy's got you in his wrap like that, the way Konstantinov had Klatt, the last thing you do is try to get a little air. All right, there it is. Good stuff. Obviously, very sad what happened to Konstantinov with the limo accident right after they won the NHL Finals back in 97. But, man... You can tell he was on pace to win at least one Norris Trophy. We had Lidstrom back there. To imagine that combo, if he played as long as Nicholas Lidstrom did, man, unbelievable stuff. There it is, Vladimir Konstantinov, one of the hardest-hitting defensemen in hell ever, right? Ever, we're talking. Absolutely laying people the hell out out there. Good stuff, man. Glad hockey's back. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. See ya.